rigdommer i jer der. <laughs> Peter har siddet med. Tufalles. Der råder kan nu sætte dig ned i lærer, så der kommer nu narsus. Well oiled. Der kommer op der og behandler Brits. Og på slæk her. Hvorfor falder så stort for lige selv? Jeg vil ikke tage mig at kiste af rummen i sig. Tøm stand still. Jeg er nødt til at prøve for det. Så jeg var fjerst med at stoppe klart. Jeg mere så laugh nu, der er ikke vores. Fell outside Charles, when for his mate to come out. He mate went into the gents out with us. Fell came out and he said to him, Gee, he's not so queer for the lady, he said. He took the inside leg measurements three times, he said. And only went in the boy a cap. <laughs> Last Sunday, come the bad day. This fella came out early to John's Park with the dogs. He's walking down towards the sandbar. He kicks this bottle. How comes this genie? The genie says to him, 200 G on that bottle, he said. You can have any wish you want. Can we? He says, yeah. Come home, you see. He put him in the old car, an old banger there. He brought him home to John's Park. He said, you can see that greyhound, he said. The man looked in. This Cahoon had a man, he was farting from the mouth. He was in bits. I wonder when the Irish dealt with him, he said. <laughs> George, your man said he wouldn't have a chance, he said. Have you no talent, he said. A second choice. Come in here, he's going to show you the way. <laughs> he brings her in anyway. He brings her in, he said. Would you be able to tongue her into Elizabeth Taylor? <laughs> he said, give me another look at the Cahoon. <laughs> Oh, I like that one, we said. <laughs> Bradford, the home of the Pakistan. Mine, Tom Wall's getting kind of handy as well. <laughs> but Bradford was the home of the Pakistan. And this Irish fella had a bit of a look. He had the shop on the corner, the Irish fella. And the Packy came into him and he said, I would like some pepper. And he should have said, do you want black pepper or white pepper? No, he said, I want Tyler pepper. <laughs> There's a camel, a camel walking through the Sahara Desert. And coming up the other way is a peak. Jeez, the camel said. There's a scar, you know, he said, I'm sweating. Do you know what's the pig? I'm big. <laughs> two Irish fellas bumped out of Southampton, two seamen. And it was the old days. And one fella, he was married to this English one, and they weren't getting on together. And she was expected. Now listen, he said to the boy, I'm going off on a three month voyage, he said. And when that child was born, he said, I want you to bring it on to St. Mary's and get a cat. Bring it into the Catholic Church, get a christen. I will, sir, man. The big fellow was stupid, the little fellow was worse. <laughs> he came back after three months. Well, he said, how's he getting on? Listen, he said, you have twins. I buy you the girl. She said, you get on christened, he said, yeah. What you call him? I call the young one Denise, he said. And what you call the young fellow? He said, the nephew, he said. <laughs> <laughs> 